In this video, you'll learn how to get started with Ringotel Shell. Ringotel Shell is a mobile integration for your phone system. It makes your mobile and remote workforce connected and much more productive, without any changes in your existing infrastructure and setup. Firstly, we need to create a new account on Ringotel website. Just go to ringotel.co slash shell and fill a short form. Once you've done this, you will be redirected to your admin portal to finish the setup. In your Ringotel Shell admin portal, firstly, we need to create a new organization. Organizations allow you to group and manage users from single or multiple connected phone systems. Let's start by entering the organization's name. Next, come up with a unique domain for this organization, which is required to register users with their Ringotel apps. Select a region which is closest to your PBX location. It is to ensure the most optimal communication route between your PBX and Ringotel servers. Hit Next. Now let's create a connection to our phone system by entering a name for this connection and its public IP address or a domain name. Please make sure that your phone system allows incoming connections from Ringotel servers. You can find more information in our help center. Also, we will specify a SIP port because it is different from the default one. You can set additional options like SIP proxy and transport protocol, such as UDP, TCP or TLS, SRTP for encrypted communication. Hit Create to continue. Lastly, we need to invite our PBX users to join Ringotel team. We can do this by creating each user manually or importing all together from a CSV file. Let's consider the last option. The CSV file must be in a specific format, but Ringotel Shell supports a number of export formats for the selection of phone systems. Let's go back to our PBX admin portal where we have the list of extensions already created. We will use a bulk handler feature which helps us to export our extensions into a CSV file. We will open this file and add email addresses to the users who will use Ringotel apps. It is to ensure that they will receive an email with provisioning instructions which will help them with the onboarding process. Once you've done this, return to the Ringotel Shell admin portal. Select our file and hit Next. Now you should see the list of users ready to be imported. But first, you might be wondering, what are these active checkboxes mean? In Ringotel Shell, you can create two types of users, activated and unactivated. Activated are regular users who can register with Ringotel apps and use all the features available in the subscription plan. We charge only for activated users. On the other hand, unactivated users can't register with the apps. But their contact details will be pulled into the shared team's directory, where Ringotel apps users could quickly and easily dial their colleagues' extension numbers and see real-time statuses. Now, suppose not everyone in our organization needs a Ringotel app. Let's click Deactivate All button and select only those users who will use the mobile apps. Click the Import button to continue. It may take some time while the system is processing our request. Great, we have successfully imported our users. You may notice that the system generated password for each activated user. In this way, they don't need to enter their real SIP credentials to register with the apps, which increases security. You can copy this information or export it into a CSV file. Let's close this dialog, and we are all done with initial Ringotel shell setup. By this time, we should already receive an onboarding email. Use the provided links to download and install the app on your devices. Once installed, enter your credentials or scan QR code via Ringotel app.